The move by the Millers to drop the paddy price from $70,000 to $65,000 and then to $60,000 sparked outrage and saw scores of rice farmers from Blackbush pull the quarantine, blocking the main access roads to Lesby Holden and Johanna in protest. The rice farmers cited a sharp rise in the cost of living and their inability to keep up with increasing fertilizer prices. On Saturday, however, Minister of Agriculture Zulfikar Mustafa met with the farmers and related that after a three-hour-long meeting with the Guyana Rice Millers Association, the price will remain at $65,000. To ensure both parties benefit, the government has in turn reduced the export commission for millers from US $8 to US $6. Added to that, the scanning fee has also been slashed by 50%. We would like to see that you receive maximum price for your paddy. As a matter of fact, we want the farmers to get more money in, monies in their pocket. Though the protest actions have ended, some rice farmers remain adamant that they should be paid $70,000 per ton of paddy. We're asking you guys if you guys can help us to get the $70,000 a ton because we have a lot of expense. Who don't have tractor have to pay $300,000 to pick your line. We pay double the price for money. We pay almost double the price for paddy. We're we don't talk about that. We don't talk about that. We don't talk about that. Me, I know me for sure to load on my rice. I right. can't pay my mortgage. And I'm really and see if you get any relief from the government. And we're asking that maybe you, you have to continue to uh, solve the imbalance that would have created between the cost and the price the farmers are getting. When, when farmers are faced with five or six percent additional cost. They didn't respond to this, but the cost for this particular grant is 50 percent to provide more relief to the rice farmers, Minister Mustafa said that the government will be negotiating with its supplier to see a possible reduction in the cost of fertilizer. And he assured farmers that his ministry and the government is working to make the lives of farmers much easier. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Shakima Day.